leading batsman out there, Sachin Tendulkar, with his new partner, Sanjay Mandraka, who got 100 uh, just the other day in a one-day match. And the atmosphere absolutely vibrant here at the Wankita Stadium. 45,000 people packed in. Great anticipation. The big day has arrived. The stage is set. That's a beautiful shot through the covers for four. It was just a suggestion of way swing there for Klusner. But it was beautifully dealt with by Tendulka. And this is whipped away, back to the square, there's a long run and a hopeless one, it's four more, beautifully timed by Tendulka. And two boundaries, back to the square on the onside of Kluzner, spoiling all the good work that he had that got up to six overs bowled, 23 for no wicket. What a throw. Well, the umpire hasn't called to help him with this decision. He's made it on his own, and quite rightly so. He's got him, but it's very well taken by Dear Richardson, who so often been the silent man of this South African side. That was very, very well taken by Richardson, and um, we have lost their comeback man, Sanjay Mandreka. So Jalgal Srinath comes in again at number three, and he's coming because Sanjay Mandreka has had a uh, slightly difficult time up at the top of the order against Fanny de Villiers. It's gone for four. You don't see that very often from Fanny de Villiers. Fine leg was up. Just drifted down next side. And Srinath is making quite a career for himself at number three. Picks up four. But there it goes through there, so... Can't have everyone everywhere. Now we've got 11. Two of them are operative in bowling and keeping wicket. So there's only nine left. You just weigh up your options and choose them. Good fielding from Kirsten to save the four. A little bit of footwork. Oh, what a catch! What a catch! You won't see another like that, I promise you. Barney de Villiers has plucked off an absolutely sensational catch. He didn't want to bowl it this fine, because it's four with a fine leg up, normally. But watch this. Brilliant. <laughs> so that's what Sanjay Mandrake was trying to do. That's what Oswald King has done, and I don't think Barney de Villiers liked it very much, but that was wonderfully played. There's well four. Coming off the top innings of 94 against Australia at Mojave. That'll be four more. The field of their father shot is delirious, rather, as 50 comes up in the 12th row. And that man here, I'm not sure why he, he's moved into that shortly wicket position. And he goes past that man. And that's what he's been trying to do. Wicked wide of square leg. A man at back of square leg, a man in wicket. And you have to get it spot on to go to the boundary. And Tendulkar got it spot on. It's been a good tournament for the Indian captain. 300 runs uh, in this series for him. He's too short of his 50 here. So much for those who wondered whether Captain C would affect the way that he bats. for a catch behind and he's gone Mickey Boy has done it for South Africa got a single here and 50 as well in a fine innings by the Indian captain again getting India off to a good start it's important now for him to carry on right through to the end of his innings And a misfield there gives the Indians a rare boundary. You don't see that happening with the South African team there. And turned. And that's fair enough. That's nicely played too. That's beautifully played by Tunguka. 
kept his eyes on the ball and played it very late. A deliberate shot. And good running like that would certainly help. Wonderful pick up and throw such a quick release. Is he caught? He is. He's caught by Hansi Konya in the covers and Tendulkar is out. And that's a big wicket for the South Africans and a big blow to India. And Tendulkar is gone. An awful shot, but he was deceived again by Farney de Villiers. India won 47 for 5. AJ Dodeja is the new bat, and a lot depends on him now if India are going to get anywhere near the 240 mark, 250, which they were hoping to get, and he gets a beam. Well, H to H, hand to head. Farney laughs, that slipped. He's not the sort of man who would do a thing like that deliberately. That's the first time I've ever seen uh, Farney inaccurate, I think. And one just got away from him completely. Not only was it uh, a dangerous, low-flying object for the batsman, but it wasn't all that easy for the wicketkeeper either. The ball bouncing just in front of Dave Richardson. Oh. That'll help the Indian run, Reed. The way they're getting runs. I don't think you're too unhappy. You might be a little knack that you overstepped. Oh, what a mess they're making. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. It had to be John D. Rhodes. Robinson was a pretty good fielder himself. Completely stranded. He could have been a little boy lost in the desert there. They're trying to sneak run. Shall I shan't to go? Will I won't ya? And by the time he's made up his mind, John T. Rose has just fired away, knocked all the stumps out, and said, keep on walking back to the dressing room, Robin Singh, Alan Donald, and Nicky Boyer. It's better not before. Not too easy, look. Oh, dear, that was nearly another chance. The rope. It looked as if he did. I would ask another question. I thought he had the ball under control. I reckon the batsman's out. He's caught it. He's got that under control. Now he throws it out. He's out. Got to be out. He must be out. Well, in my opinion, the fieldsman had the ball under control. opinion Clusen has uh, caught that and he's got it under control there's no way it's coming out of his hand until he drops it to stay from going over the rope that one's well and truly over a spectator will catch that this is the danger of Jadeja he's done it often enough before this is a wonderful strike Way up into the crowd, that's brought this capacity crowd to life. Tremendous shot. And that one's gone into the crowd as well. Boyer, unhappy, kicks the dirt. Well, Jeffrey Boycott is saying this now, that one good over can turn the game round. Is this the one good over that's turning it round for India? One over mid-wicket, that was saved from going for six by some innovative fielding. One over long on, one over long off. Wonderful hitting from AJ Gideja. Well, he took, uh, in the World Cup, he took to Wakai Yunus in the last couple of overs and uh, murdered him in Bangalore. Jadeja will retain the strike. 198 for six. Chance 
takes it long on Poyer, and he takes it comfortably. Mistimed that one, um, Mongia. 15 off 22 balls. Nice contribution to the partnership. 204 for seven. Chitaja hits this straight back over Donald's head for four. Last ball. And this will fall safely. Gone very high. And it long on. Oh, and he's misjudged it. Now he goes over your head and doesn't go for six. It's very embarrassing. That's well bowled. Tony De Villiers right in the block hole. India making 220 from their 50 overs. South Africa really, or rarely should I say, let the opposition get away from them. Barney does the job at the start of the innings. And then he makes it difficult for the batsman at the end. Two for 32. Sachin Tendulkar, top scoring with 67. And Jardeja adding a very useful 43 there of 42 deliveries. deliveries. He does a terrific job in that uh, situation in the late overs. So India, 220 for seven. A little bit competitive, but uh, you would have to think and South Africa uh, should be able to get those to win the final. And that's his strength. Square of the wicket on both sides off the back foot and if you overdo it and get it up too far to him, he'll drive you back down the ground as well. And this one's gone into the fence like a tracer bullet. India and again to see Gutsum with the slow ball. He said he bowls it beautifully and he's done exactly that here to fox the batsman and South Africa lose their first wicket. And that's an intelligent field placing, good bowling. The bar for the field has given him. So Kumbe has struck. Kirsten just looking around for a while, turned his head, saw him by Ramaswamy, his finger was up. Now that's up in the air, somebody's got to get under it. He's looking down for a start. But he completes the catch on right, the senior rejoicing for just a minute. Looked away, told the fielder adjacent to him, but as Robin saying, that's my catch, he said. And then he completed it quite easily. So South Africa lose, wicket number four. Chance of one here, he hits. Uh, in fact, he's a little stumbled by Cronier, but the umpire has not even asked for the third umpire. I think he may have stumbled about, this is what happened last ball. In fact, he did a bit of a stumble there as he fell, he fell there, but I'm not sure whether Mongi had the ball or not. There's the ball out of Mongi's gloves. And that's what saved the South African captain. He just had a bit of a fit and stumble about a metre to go. I wonder if he's putting his right up and the ball has not got behind the stump. Well, Cardinal Sin for Sin. Well, this is a mistake by Robin Singh. Didn't get the basics right. Should have been behind the stumps here. And that would have been straight on top of the stumps from Jadeja. So if you do find the gap, there are runs there for the taking. He's in the air. He's hit it straight in the air. And men are calling each other out. And a safe catch. And another great catch as far as the result is concerned for Josie. He did very good catch of the cricket ball and the Indians are pleased as punch. Third one for him, this is number 102. And it was a fairly easy one, but he does make them look very easy uh, as we got into position very quickly. India right on top now with South Africa at 96 for seven. Certainly hit something on its way. Munga did all the difficult work. He got there, got a left glove to it. And he'd be disappointed. And 
certainly come off the bat. Good footwork there from Mongia, but just couldn't quite get it in the middle of the glove. Might just find a gap. It does. Quite a few other South African supporters. He has a huge hit. My goodness, he's really collected. This one has Pats and Cox, and that's maximum. And another curator's hit in the year today. Oh, easy over 500 on this pitch. Uh, this is up in the air, and he's, he's... Oh, no ball has been called. No ball called, and now there's a bit, bit of a mix-up. And some Cox eventually is sent back by Richardson. Is that a little bit of luck South Africa needs? Well, there were 750 million Indians who were up here thinking that was out. They didn't really know that the umpire had called no ball. South Africa need a couple of big overs. Well, that smash back. That went like a tracer bullet. Joshi got his hands to it. He had absolutely no chance there. And smashed it back. There is a man at long off. A good piece of fielding there on the fence. A very good piece of fielding to restrict the South Africans to just a single. Again, it's the quick release, isn't it? Pick up half a step almost, and the ball's already on its way back. And that's enough to make the batsman running to the danger end just say no. This time it's short, and he spanked it over covers and into the fence for four. It's a good way to end the over. 46 gone. 180 for seven. This should be another boundary, giving himself room. Where he almost predetermined the stroke. This is in the air, this is in his, he's going to be out caught here. And a very good catch in the end by Robin Singh. So finally India get the breakthrough. South Africa lose their eighth wicket. Side just a glimpse of a chance until here. And Robin Singh, after a good bowling spell, takes a very good catch as well. Well caught, sir. 36 runs required of 18 goals. And the back goal out of his hand. The ball stays in the man Munger's hand and he gets off the bail in this match. So the ninth South African wicket goal and now victory around the corner for India. <laughs> He's bowled in. Anil Kumble has bowled Alan Donald first ball. This is the first time he came out to bat in 1996 and it's not lasted long. So India will wrap up this game. A terrific performance by them after winning the toss and deciding to bat. They didn't get a big score, 220, but it was a competitive one. Just played inside it, played down the Bakerloo, came down the Victoria, hit the outside of off stump. Donald looks up in surprise. But having done that, I was most impressed with, particularly with Sachin Tendulkar's captaincy. And we got 220, which wasn't a, a phenomenal score by any manner of means. And then getting the early breakthrough, he kept the pressure on the South African batsmen by keeping fielders and plenty of them in the circle. And that just made the South Africans hit the ball, or look to hit the ball over the top. I'd like to call the winning captain who's going to receive 300,000 rupees and of course the Titan Cup and I'm talking of Sachin Tendulkar of India. <laughs> Sachin, I know it's going to be absolute chaos and pandemonium when you receive the Titan Cup so we'll talk to you first and uh, you must think back to Shandigar and the closing overs of that very exciting match against Australia and it was so bad for India at the time. You've got through that somehow and now you've won the Titan Cup. What a turnaround. Well, definitely I would say because uh, I thought all the players fought very well throughout. Uh, things went right for us in between but uh, later stages of the tournament we played very well. A very good toss to win today. 
it was actually because the, the moment I saw the wicket, I knew that it was going to play a bit slower in the later half of the game, and it did. It seemed to us all that India really lifted their game in every department in this final. When things go right for you, it happens automatically, so I thought uh, and I would give credit to all the boys who fought well. Well, first of all, go and receive the 300,000 rupees as the winning captain from the Chief Minister. And now the Titan Cup itself will be presented by Mr. Tessis Desai, the Vice Chairman and Managing Director of Titan Industries. The Titan Cup to Sachin Tendulkar.